thanks to Bayi for sponsoring today's video. Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm very excited to be filming today because this is actually the first time that I'm filming for like four or five weeks. Uh, I did a little movie magic and I pre-filmed some stuff, which would be the videos you've seen, but I actually got to go on a holiday. I went over to America and Canada, where you might have already heard, but I was able to meet the fabulous, fabulous Anambe and Gwen Collex, and uh, we went to Animathon together, and it was just really fun and a fantastic time, um, and I'm so glad I got to meet them. And now I am back and very excited to be doing some hauls for you today. So obviously I'm here now with Asuka clips in my hair. There is an Asuka figure behind me up there. That means we're doing an Evangelion haul today. I've also just realized that these hair clips are definitely not at the same height and that does Asuka have to like spend a lot of time doing this every morning? Anyway, I am very excited to be unboxing these figures today because Evangelion is like one of my favorite animes ever and uh, I do have a lot of Asuka figures today and Asuka is like one of my favorite characters ever. She's basically the only character that I have an anime figure shrine for. Um, she is my like exception, like I, I'm pretty much down to pre-order like as many Asuka figures as I want. I already have like one, two, three, four, six Asuka scales in this room. Uh, and I know I had three pre-ordered for this year of which I think they're all here today. So I'm just, I'm just so excited. All right, so let's get into it. So first up, I have these two. These are pretty popular. These are the Kotobukiya 1-6 Evangelion figures from the new movie. Oh, I just dropped Mari. Yeah, so these Kotobukiya ones are very popular. They have so many 1-6 Evangelion figures. I think they've released like, I don't know, four, five, six different sets at least. Uh, I have the Asuka from the third reveal movie and I really like that one. And when I saw this figure go up for pre-order, I thought that her pose really reminded me of the Kotobukiya first rebuild Asuka, which I'm not gonna buy because it looks a little bit dated now, uh, but I also really loved the white plug suit. And so, um, yeah, I decided to pre-order this one. It is also such a bargain. It was 12,800 yen retail. And um, yeah, I also can't say no to Asuka figures. Let's get her open. Kotobukiya is also one of my favorite manufacturers, so I have pretty good faith that they're gonna make a pretty nice Asuka figure here. Their quality is always really nice and they have such good prices. All right, here she is. It looks like she's already just attached to the base. Okay, here she is and she is beautiful. This is exactly the quality I was expecting. Her sculpt is really, really nice. The coloring is beautiful. I love the pearlescence of the suit and all of the suit elements are really nicely detailed. I really love the detail of the kind of stone base here with the unit to Ava. It's just a nice touch and it's a nice prop for her to lean on as well. I really, really like her face. Uh, I think it looks a lot like Asuka in this. And I was a little bit skeptical of the translucent hair, but I actually really like it in person. And this is one of my more favorite Asuka hair sculpts because every Asuka figure has a slightly different shade of hair. Um, and I really like this one. I, I like how they've done this. I think I definitely like this one more than I like the third rebuild movie Asuka from Kotobukiya. Um, I just like the hair more and I like the pose more and her face more. Yeah, I highly recommend this and for like 12,000 yen, it's a bargain. I also just love the white plug suits. When I saw the trailer for the fourth movie, I was like, wow, I'm gonna have to pick up a couple of figures. <laughs> Moving quickly onto the Mari, also from Kotobukiya, also 1-6, basically the same line of figures. Now, I'm not the biggest Mari fan, I definitely did not really consider wanting a Mari figure until the fourth movie. Obviously, Mari plays a little bit of a bigger role in that movie. So I thought it'd be good to pick up at least one Mari figure for my collection. Um, and yeah, I really liked the Kotobukiya 1-6 and it's, like I said, cheap, bargain, quality's great. So 
let's get her open. Like Asuka, she's pre-attached onto her base already. Wow, this is actually pretty cute. Uh, I am glad I picked Mari up. Uh, I really like the pink and white plug suit combo. It is adorable. And just like the Asuka, this is a fabulous figure. The sculpt is beautiful. The paint job on the plug suit is gorgeous. Again, I love the base. I've totally blanked on what unit number Mari is. Like five? Unit five? Six? I also love Mari's face and her cheeky little grin, and I think they did the glasses so well. I think this is a great Mari figure. If you're looking for one, you really can't go wrong with the Kotobukiya Evangelion figures. And as a bonus, her and Asuka go really well together. They were advertised together in the pre-order pictures, and I think they look great next to each other. Oh. Speaking of Asuka and Mari duo figures, I did want to quickly shout out this mega house Asuka and Mari figure, which I thought was like really cool and iconic, the way Mari's just like wrapped around Asuka's legs, but it was also 33,000 yen and I just couldn't justify that price. Um, and so I settled for getting two of the cheaper Kotobuki ones. Oh, I just thought of the idea. I'm totally gonna like rank all of my Asuka scales at the end of this video because I've got a few more to unbox. So I'll bring all my Asuka. I think I'll have like seven or eight by the end of this video and I'm gonna rank them all uh, and then pick my favorite. It's gonna be hard. Next up we have another Asuka scale. This one is the Asuka Ava 2020 one six scale model by Amakuni um, in collaboration with Amiyami. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. So out of all the Asuka figures that I wanted to pre-order this year, this one is the one I am least excited for and the one I was most on the fence about. In the end, obviously, I did keep my pre-order for her, mainly because she was like 13,000 yen, so quite affordable. And I did like the uniqueness of her pose with her like um, spear thing. Uh, so I like the action pose, so I also like Asuka, so I kept the pre-order and yeah, let's see how she turned out. The other reason I was on the fence was because it's manufactured by Amakuni. I bought one Amakuni figure before and I really thought the quality was like very average, like nothing amazing. It wasn't terrible, but you know, nothing I get too excited about. So I'm keen to see how this one compares. First, we've got a base. It's a cool hexagon. It says Evangelion 3 plus 1 with some Ava-esque graphic details on it. All right, here's the actual figure. She's really nice. I'm actually really impressed. Let's finish putting her together though. We've got her spear. I believe it's a spear, right? She's really gripping this spear really tightly and it's making it horrible to put together. Okay, apparently it should go through her hair somehow. How the hell is it doing that? All right, she's put together. This spear was so difficult to put in and you have to like thread it through her hair and her hand kind of moves around. It wasn't fun, but I don't even know if it's correct. Like this doesn't look straight to me, but it's on, it's staying put. And uh, this figure is very, very cool. I actually love it so much more than I thought I would. I think Amakuni kind of popped off on this. Like, I'm listening. Okay, that was really awful Zoomer speak. Like, yeah, it's pop off. I'm listening, queen. Like, what the f Okay, anyway, this figure is really, really nice. I think Amakuni did an amazing job on the plug suit, on the sculpting of all of the different parts, and on the shading as well. There's some really nice gradients throughout the plug suit and on her arms and legs. It just really makes the figure pop. Even though the spear was really hard to put in, I do really like the effect that it has on the figure. It's just such a cool and dynamic pose for Asuka. I do really like the hair sculpt, but the hair is just a tinge too orange for me. I kind of like it when it looks a little bit more brown, um, but that's totally a personal preference. Uh, I think the face looks good and yeah, the quality is actually really nice as well. I can't really find many things to complain about. Um, this is really, really nice. I actually really recommend this. It's like great price as well. It's a 1.6 apparently 
we will be comparing the scales of all of these figures at the end. Yeah, this is really nice. Amakuni might have just redeemed themselves a little bit with that figure. That's I'm really chuffed. So next up, we have these two cube looking packages. Uh, these are actually packages I got from Bai. So Bai is a Japanese proxy shipping service that lets you buy things from Japan that you would otherwise not be able to. I use Bai a ton myself to buy a lot of pre-owned anime figures, like the ones I'm gonna haul. You can access some of Japan's biggest marketplaces through Bai and go onto sites such as Amazon Japan JP, Rakuten, Makari, and my personal favorite, Yahoo Japan auctions. <laughs> Once you buy your item, they'll get shipped to Bai's warehouse, where Bai will then offer you a range of shipping options to ship them to your own country. They offer many shipping options, such as DHL, FedEx, EMS, Surface Parcel, and many more. Bai offers a ton of bonus features as well, such as snipe bidding, protective packaging, package consolidation, uh, as well as setting up email filters so you can get told when there's a new sneaky deal on that figure that you've been after. If you use the link in the description below, you can get 2,000 yen off of your first order with Bai. Thanks again, Bai, for sponsoring today's video and for letting me get these two figures. So anime figure pros are already gonna know what these are because they're Evangelion figures and they're shaped like a cube. Um, let me bust them open for you guys. Oh my God, we have the Ichiban Kuji Quarter Impact Evangelion Heroine a prize of Asuka. Uh, and now that you've seen this, you can probably guess what's in the second cube. And it is the Rei from the same Ichiban Kuji. Rei is the B prize. I think that's fair. <laughs> if you don't know what an Ichiban Kuji is, it's basically like a merch figure lottery system where you'll come out with a certain Ichiban Kuji. You'll have a list of prizes and then you can go to the store and buy a ticket uh, and you'll randomly get a ticket for one of the different prize categories. So there's a high chance you'll win a small prize, like a keychain or something. Uh, but if you get really lucky, you can win the A or B prizes, which are usually anime figures. So because it's a whole lottery system, you can't just pre-order these figures and they can be sometimes a little trickier to get. Uh, that's why I did use Bai and I bought them through Yahoo Japan Auctions. Uh, and I'm so excited because I think these are one of the first quarter scale like Oscar and Ray figures ever. But I'd say these are like the best quarter scales you can get uh, that is cheap. Um, so the Ray I think goes for around six to seven thousand yen on Bai, uh, and Oscar is quite a bit cheaper because I think there's two versions of the Oscar. Um, Ask is like three to four thousand yen on Bai. So uh, they're really nice and affordable for quarter scales. I mean, if you collect B styles, you're used to paying like 10 times that price. Honestly, it's ridiculous. I did for like one crazy week, consider getting the quarter scale Asuka Prime 1 statue. I just, I mean, that thing weighs like a ton. It's also $2,000. Um, but I could not justify that cost. No matter how much I love Asuka, I couldn't justify it. And so, you know, I think these are like a great replacement, especially at 4,000 yen. I'm very excited to see the quality. Uh, so let's get them open. I'm gonna start with Ray because I like to save the best for last. I should know, but I have no idea. But I wonder if Quarter Impact is like a bigger line that, um, they're gonna make like a ton of other quarter scale figures for for Ichiban Kuji. Like that would be so awesome. Cause I love quarter scale figures, but with how expensive they generally tend to be, like you have to pick and choose your favorites. So here's Ray. Ooh, she's pretty heavy. Um, so it comes in one piece, no assembly required. And here she is. This is actually so nice. So, okay, I love the scale. I don't know if she's as big as I was expecting for a quarter scale, uh, but she's definitely big. Like she's definitely between a quarter and a fifth scale. Uh, obviously, 
the quality is not as good as a B-Style. I do see quite a few paint defects. Um, the sculpting though I think is really nice, but the paint job has a few issues. Mine's got a few scratches and paint that is outside of the lines. I'm happy to forgive that given the price point. I also think they absolutely nailed Ray's hair and face. This looks exactly like Ray. It's a perfect Ray expression and I love how soft and kind of translucent the hair looks. It's really soft and it's got some really nice sculpting details to it. I'm so excited now to see how Asuka turned out. Asuka is heavier than Ray. It's all that hair. It's all that sass. Oh my god. Let's unbag her. Oh my god, Asuka is so cute. So like the Ray, I think the sculpt is really nice, but the paint is not perfect. Uh, I find the red that they use for her plug suit looks very cheap, it's very prized figure. With the Ray, because she was white, it looked almost pearlescent, uh, but with Asuka, it's definitely like not my favorite paint finish. But I do love Asuka's face. I think they nailed her face. And I actually really like her hair. I really like the color they used. And she has translucent tips, which like, yeah, there's some flaws, but I think it's a nice touch to the figure and just makes it a little bit more interesting. Oh my God, they are so cute. I love that you can like sit them together like this. It is just adorable. It's perfect and like really, for a quarter sale, Oscar and Ray figures at the price that they were, like, this is such a bargain. They're so good, so nice. I, like, if you like Oscar and Ray, like, I feel like you need to get these. Like, these are just really nice. Oh my God. I am like so in love with them. Oh my God. These are really nice. I highly recommend these. Uh, I kind of wish there would be a manufacturer that would make a version of this that was maybe like $50 more expensive and, and just improved on the paint and the finish a little more. Like, wow, I would buy that in a heartbeat. <laughs> if you're looking to get your own, I highly recommend uh, Yahoo Japan auctions. There were a ton on there when I checked last week. Um, yeah. Oh, what a surprise. Next up, we have another Oscar scale figure. Boom. Uh, this is the Asuka 1 7th scale painted figure, the last mission version by Revolve. Uh, this one will be interesting because we've only had 1 6s and quarter scale, so this will be the only 1 7th. But this was the Asuka pre order that I was most excited about. This was the one that I really just my favorite of the three that I pre-ordered. Um, I think this was the first white plug suit version of Asuka to go for pre-order and I just instantly pre-ordered it. It was 15,000 yen, so the most expensive of the ones we've hauled so far, uh, but I just love the composition of this figure so much. It's so nice to look at and I uh, I'm just, yeah, really excited to unbox her. <laughs> also, I'm a really big fan of Revolve as a manufacturer. I have their Hollow, and I think they make a lot of Katakawa's figures. Uh, so, like, I've just been always really impressed with the quality of their figures, and I think the sculpting and detailing is like really, really good. So I definitely have high hopes for this Asuka. I feel like this one could be in the running to be my favorite Asuka scale. Mm, that's like, that's a big deal. <laughs> okay, first up we have the base, which is so cool. I love the like red dirt and the red concrete beams. Uh, it's such a good nod to the, to the fourth movie. I'm not super in love with the black base underneath. I reckon they could have just use the red stone as the base and not have done this uh, but small complaint okay asuka herself so she definitely feels smaller compared to all of the other big bigger askers of hold she is uh beautiful so yeah like i was saying i she's definitely a one seventh in fact probably a little small for a one seventh i would say but i'm still in love with this figure by far my favorite thing is just the entire composition of it i think the white plug suit against the red 
base and background is just so striking to look at and I just I love it so much. The details are also really really nice. They've got a beautiful sculpt, beautiful shading on the plug suits, some really nice metallic shading on some of the plug suit details. I really really like the hair sculpt. I love the arm running through the hair. It just makes it so much more interesting and I do really like the hair shading as well. There is no translucence on this hair at all but I don't mind, I think it goes well with the color that they've picked. I think they've nailed the face, I think it looks exactly like Asuka, and I, I'm just, I really like it. I, I, I just really like it as a whole. My only issue is like, she's a little bit small, and when this is the most expensive of all the ones we've hauled, it kind of feels like I was shortchanged just a little bit, but you do get the really nice base. I do highly recommend it, like if you just give this one look and you think that looks so cool, it's got such good Asuka attitude, I love the pose, I love the base, then get it, like the quality is really nice. Next up I have another two scale figures. Uh, these aren't 1 7th scale or 1 6th scale, these are lobster scale uh, Evangelion figures. Actually my bad, that is so embarrassing. They are crayfish, not lobster. Unless that's the same thing. But yeah, I saw that they had a Unit 2 and a Unit 1 crayfish model kit. And I just thought that is the funniest thing I've ever seen and I needed to get both. Um, so these are model kits, so you do have to. Uh, they've got the instructions in there. And you have to build your own crayfish. Uh, I don't think you need any glue for this uh, or paint, so it's pretty easy. Uh, and I'm very, very excited to like build my own crayfish. So these were 4,800 yen, which is not cheap, uh, but small price to pay for crayfish Evangelion test type one, you know? Are these lobsters? What is a crayfish? It's actually got the like exact species that they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be a Procambarus clarkie. I'm gonna see if that's a lobster. Procambarus clarkie is actually an invasive pest in North America. Oh. It says Procambarus clarkie normally reproduces sexually, but research suggests it may also reproduce by parthenogenesis. More like Neon Parthenogenesis Evangelion. That was an awful joke. Uh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, anyway, moving on. Uh, I'm gonna build this off camera and I'll be sure to put in some B-roll and maybe some uh, dubbed reactions to the clocky part, whatever the hell that thing was called after I built it. I don't know, these are just so funny. All right. That is all the figures I had to haul, but before I sign off, I thought it'd be fun to just rank all of my Asuka scales now. So I'm gonna do that and I'll present to you in reverse order my Asuka rankings. So in total, I have eight Asuka scales. I will be including the Ichiban Kuji quarter scale because it's kind of as good as the others. Uh, but in eighth place, we have the, I believe the Belfine 1 8th Asuka. She's pretty cute, but it's not worth the price. I do like how she's like lying down because some of my Askas are standing and some of them need to be not so tall so they can make a nice cohesive display and she fills that niche. In seventh place, we have the Kotobukiya 1-6 from the third movie. This is a really nice figure, but I just find the pose is a little awkward and her hair coloring is not my favorite. In sixth place, I'm gonna put the Amakuni one. This is actually a fabulous scale and it's so weird to say she's sixth. But I think her hair sculpt just isn't quite as nice as some of these other ones above her. I don't know. My fifth favorite, I'm gonna put the new Kotobukiya white plug suit version. I do really like the white plug suit and I really like the hair and everything. Uh, yeah. In fourth place, I'm gonna put the Big Mama quarter scale. Quality, not the best, but the impact of her being a quarter scale is so cool. And she's so like, just iconically like first gen Asuka. It's just 
good, it's a good piece. In third place, I'm gonna put the Radio Ava Oscar. It's a little bit of an unfair comparison because I have the grayscale Oscar, but it is so cute. The outfit details are so stunning and amazing um, that she's my third favorite. In my second place, I'm gonna put the Revolve Asuka. Um, I do really, really like it, like I was saying. Love the composition, love the hair so much, and I love the white plug suit, so my second favorite. And I wasn't surprised by my first favorite, which is the Alta Asuka. This one is iconic. Just the sass, the pose, the jacket, the hat. Ah, oh, it's so cute. It is a little on the small side, like if we compare the Amakuni 1.6 to the Ulta, I believe it's 1 7th, you know? But it is still my favorite. All right, that is all of the Ava stuff that I had in this video. I think it's gonna be a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, so from me and my eight Oscars, Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can check out my Patreon for some uh, exclusive unboxings that I can't post onto YouTube if you'd like. Uh, but otherwise, I hope you have a great week and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya, bye bye. Also, if you noticed a very, very mild lisp, it's because I have like a retainer in and I just sound like that for a bit now. A big huge thank you to Ro, Zach, Leonidas, Honey, Mr. Dan, Sarah B, Nyan Nya, Fekan, Sleepy Quinny, Rarika, Eduardo, Tattletail, and all these beautiful names on the screen.